turbocharged backpack. Johnny Cash. The genius sisters use him like a lab rat. Johnny Cash. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. Johnny Cash. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. Talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. like an idiot. Ah, yes. But soon we'll be finding treasure. Then you won't think playing pirate is so stupid. Ah. Wow, I take it back. We found the uh, ah treasure. Huh? <laughs> ah, it's just another stupid not treasure thing. Looks like your yard is a treasure-free zone. What else did pirates do besides look for treasure? They took other people's treasure. <gasps> Arr! Hand over the treasure in your backpack, or you'll be walking the plank. Arr! We need more pirate training. Oh, no problem. I'll just call Blackbeard and get some tips. That'd be great. Does he live around here? No. He robbed and pillaged hundreds of years ago. Oh, why don't you say so? I couldn't be prouder. I have such brilliant children. And Johnny. Why can't you be more like Susan and Mary? Well, for one, I have a... Susan and Mary discovered the cure for the common cold. Turns out it was the stilled essence of cheese all along. And what have you done today, Johnny? Um, I got beat up by a girl. Keep up the great work, girls. You make me so proud. Blah, blah, blah. I need the Turbo Tea House time machine. Why? So you can alter history and change the world for the better? Um, uh, no. I'm gonna get Blackbeard to teach us how to be better pirates. You know, we're just gonna take the tea house. Later. Combination breath spray and paralysis gas. You never know what you'll need on a date, if we ever had one. You didn't really think we'd just let you take the Turbo Tea House. No, that's why we had a plan B. You know, <laughs> he's really not as dumb as you think. Ah! How did you... After you zapped Johnny, he made a plan where I'd sneak in here while you're all eating dinner half an hour from now. I grabbed the tea house and brought it back half an hour before dinner to pick up Johnny. Now! You'll never get the tea house back! Never! I'm going to pound them when they come back. But you have to admit it was a pretty clever plan. Mm -hmm. We did it! We landed on Blackbeard's ship! Look! A pirate flag! Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, I'm looking for Blackbeard. <laughs> Why do you want my brother? Say what? I am Nobeard. My brother, the famous genius Blackbeard, used me as a punching bag for years. And I don't even want to be a pirate. Okay, then why are you? It's the family business. I much prefer working with animals. Their love is unconditional. Ow! Whoa! Ow! Oh, now I just want to find enough treasure to prove to my dad, Greybeard, that I'm just as good as my brother. Man, do I know how that feels. No, Beard! Why can't you be more like your brother? My gruel never has lumps in it when Blackbeard makes it. Well, underappreciated son like me, we are from the future! And we're gonna help you find treasure! 
because we've got something Blackbeard doesn't. A metal detector. Wow, that was convenient. Treasure, we're rich, we're rich. Oh, the things we'll do with this money. Dance lessons. A new custom kitchen. Box seats to the opera. Something tells me we're not going to learn about pirating here. Okay, boys, load it on the ship. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo. No, no, it's yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Now, come on. And don't any of you say, R. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Blackbeard! Hand over your shiny things, loser brother! Or... Or what? <laughs> or this! <laughs> Blackbeard never let me sink with a ship! We're gonna need some help. <laughs> We admire the trick you played before. We've come to a decision. We're never gonna help you with any of your schemes ever again. Yeah, I know. Is this your latest cool invention that'll make Dad appreciate you more than me? Yes, big time. You can't catch me! Why are we on a pirate ship? I need your help, but I knew you wouldn't help. But Nobeard's brother Blackbeard treats him like dirt and stole his treasure, and he didn't steal all of it. <laughs> my brother is always taking my stuff without asking. Man, Man do we know how, how that, that feels? You'll never get your treasure back! Never! So you'll do your sciencey thing and help us beat Blackbeard? Eh, what the heck? Let's go! We'll need this. And this and this? Maybe this. Oh, these will. <laughs> All right, let's find Blackbeard. Oh, I just had her painted. Black More treasure. Let's take everything they've got. <laughs> no, we're taking back everything you took from Nobeard, and you can't stop us. <laughs> of course I can. Whoa! Didn't see that coming. with Blackbeard, and we're good! Die! And now we're not. Run! Whoa! I have a sinking feeling we're gonna lose this battle. Actually, we have a sinking feeling we're going to win. And I didn't see that coming. But I still have more power than all of you weird, tiny, and furry pirates. We can't let Johnny and the furry kid be skewered when they're fighting to help us. Though it goes against everything we're about, we have to stand up for ourselves. Now, what do you say? <laughs> And repeatedly. <laughs> you can have the treasure back! Stop! Yeah, we did it! Now, what do you pirates say? No! No beard! You can't leave me like this! <laughs> <laughs>
Why can't you be more like no beard? He fights and he stays so neat. Now that you've got your treasure back, you can really set yourself up as a legendary pirate. Actually, I've got bigger plans. You're opening a pet store? I got this weasel as a companion, but it's not really me. Ouch! I've got the perfect thing. A parrot? Arr, looks good! Ah, looks good! Ah! And it loves me unconditionally. I want a parrot! We all want parrots! I'll call him Polly! I want a blue one! Hey, 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 one! What do you know, Johnny? You helped start the pirate parrot craze. Maybe you're not a total waste of DNA. And Dad would be very proud of your bravery. So am I. Great! So you'll forget all about me stealing the Turbo Tea House. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Run! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to play Buy Your Dog a Cheeseburger? No. We're gonna play yeah. this. Left hook? I hate that game. One of us always gets hurt. Just roll the dice, you big hairy baby. I saved you from the pound, and I will bring you back. You're bluffing. You totally love me. You know you do. You love me. Just roll the dice. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Left hook! <laughs> Of course. Okay, my turn. No more left hook. Who makes this stupid and dangerous game anyway? Wacko, the makers of Don't Shock Yourself and Fago Tax. I'm putting my paw down. No more toys in this room made by Wacko. It's the Wacko Sweepstakes, and you could win the new Kid Size Super huh? Action Robo Pal. <gasps> It's more than a toy. It's a best friend made of metal and plastic. We love you, RoboPal! Sweet thanks! Win RoboPal by sending a postcard with your name and address to Wacko. Many will interview will win. This Wacko dude must really love kids to give away toys like that, and our small amount of entry cards will totally help us win! Mailman! <laughs> Great! And now we wait to win our Robo Pals. <laughs> I want a Robo Pal! I want a Robo Pal! Let's play! <laughs> The horn. I know a new fun game we can play. It's called Hide in the Tree! Uh. <laughs> hey! Did everyone in Pork Belly win Robo Pals? <laughs> Put me down! <laughs> hey, what's that? We won a stupid Robo Dork and we didn't even enter the sweepstakes. Why would Wacko give away so many toys for free? It makes no business sense. So we can have your Robo Pals? Sure. We told you, they're stupid. And it said there was a special surprise inside, and we looked, and there's no surprise. I'll get to their room now. Surprise! And now, with my latest toy plot, Pork Belly's kids will be gone forever, thanks to my Robo Pals! Um, sir, since we need kids to buy our toys, it might not be the best strategy to get rid of them. I'm not gonna get rid of them! I'm going to imprison them! Robo-file footage! 
Wrong file footage! So never again will I fear their whining. Or catch their cold! Or get hit with a ball when I just want to walk my fluffy dog! My plan is brilliant! You're all under house arrest until you're adult. Oh, so the surprise is... They're evil! Why would Wacko do this to kids? I'm walking my dog, and no whining, no sneezing, no balls hitting me! Sir, aren't you worried parents will fight for their kids' freedom and rebel and never buy another Wacko product again? Um... No. Mark is free, you roll me! Or we could keep an eye on them for you and you could go out for lunch or do some shopping. Let's go get lunch and do some shopping! Huh? That's it. I will not have my childhood squashed by some psycho toy maker. We have to fight for our right to play. So, Dookie, go fight! <laughs> okay, we need a plan B. We gotta get to the lab and find a way to stop these robo-dorks. But we're trapped. And there's no way to get to the lab. Actually... We'll talk about this later. <laughs> but right now, it's time for us to defeat the forces of toy evil. And by us, I mean you guys. So build something that will crush those robo-dorks. Give, Give us, us a, a minute. minute. That was two minutes, by the way. <laughs> Stand down, evil robo dweebs, and let kids have fun again. I don't think so. <gasps> <gasps> uh -huh. Those are some very tough toys. Then maybe it's time to fight toys with toys! Say what? Roll the file footage! <laughs> Oops, wrong footage. The Turbo Toy Force? They can totally beat the large, giant, evil robo doofuses. And besides, we're out of ideas. Well, how do we contact them? The last time we saw them, they headed off into the sunset! We'll contact them with the Turbo Toy Force signal! which Susan and Mary will have to build. Give us a minute. It's been two hours. Okay, there's gotta be another way to contact them. Another long distance dedication from Johnny to the Turbo Toy Force. And the song is Come save us, cause we're trapped by some evil toys and we wanna play. It's no use, they're not coming. And we'll never play, <laughs> or have fun outside, <laughs> ever again. Oh. Huh? Whenever kids are sad. The Turbo Toy Force will arrive to cheer them up. But we've been sad all day. Every kid in town is sad. Okay, we're at the beach. <laughs> Sorry. So, what's the problem? We're being trapped in our own house by Mega Evil Robo Toys. Say no more. Turbo Toy Force away! Whoa, those are some tough toys. We're doomed! Hey, what's his problem? They knocked his batteries out. He'll be fine. Here, batteries included. Not anymore. I need you guys to be fun and playful and distracting. Um, duh, we're toys. That's our job. Then let's do this. Hey, Robo Weenie, time to play with two toys. And now you're powerless. <laughs> 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 Toy! Watch this! 
your evil toy-making ways. Okay, all those in favor of ending this board meeting? Run! <laughs> yeah! So, you got me! What are you gonna do, send me to prison? My lawyers will get me out! <laughs> no! We're sending you someplace that will truly punish you! And teach you a lesson you will never forget! <laughs> no! Anything but this? What? It's just day camp. Let's play with the funny short man! Yeah! yeah! Oh, no! math homework so we can watch TV. That's right, Johnny. And I'm gonna stand right here until you finish it. Hmm? <laughs> what was that? I heard a bad noise. Five. 3.9. That one's greater than that one. And the answer to the word problem is four monkey butts. Oh. Okay, you can... Go. Ow! Ow! Seen it. You've got 30 seconds to eat this bowl of rocks. Nom, 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 nom. Why? The government will pay you for eating cheese. The Nut Channel. We're all nuts all the time. 1,000 channels and nothing on. Of course there is, Johnny. It's just that your short attention span lacks sophistication and appreciation of educational programming. Today, women who hate cheese. Please welcome Patrick Swayze. I'm my own grandpa. <sighs> You're right. There really is nothing on. <sighs> you kids are rotting your brains watching that thing. I suggest you all read a book or, or write a story or... or... Do anything besides watch TV. You'll be better for it. Trust me. The Nut Channel. We're all nuts. Now I'm telling you. Go do something besides watch TV. Yeah, those shows were garbage anyway. We could make better TV. 
That's it! We'll start our own TV channel and make super cool shows and bring joy and entertainment across the totally bland airwaves! Oh, sure, Johnny. Only there's one problem. We don't have cameras or a studio or a channel. This is a test of the emergency broadcast channel. We only have tests, no TV shows. Hmm, this channel needs TV shows. Sorry, Johnny, but this station can only be used for emergencies. But this is an emergency. There's nothing on TV. The answer is no. Uh, you can star in a show, uh, uh, a tough show that shows your toughness. <laughs> or... A cooking show? How lame is that? Then I guess we'll just take all our equipment back to the base. Cooking show is good. <laughs> You're watching EBC, the new cooler emergency broadcast channel. It's cooking time with Mr. Black and Mr. White. <laughs> Hello. Today we're going to make meatloaf. And we'll start by adding some cilantro. Cilantro? We'll start by adding some capers. I don't think so. What do you think about this? <laughs> Take this to the knuckles. Uh, this has been Cooking Time with Mr. Black and Mr. White. Wow, what a great show. But do we look fat? The show stinks, and according to the ratings, the new EBC is at the bottom. Second to the bottom. We got two more viewers than the Nut Channel. People don't want cooking shows. They want action and laughs. <laughs> Every day, the overworked student comes home and wants to forget about their day. They want a show that turns the brain to mush and rattles the old funny bone. Because TV is what makes this country great. And we are going to give them great TV. Who's with me? That was beautiful, man. <laughs> OK, let's get to work. It's wild and crazy videos! Welcome back. Did you miss us? Seriously, here's wacky dog clips. <laughs> booty! Booty, 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 booty! Welcome to EBC Sports and the Extreme Olympics. I'm Johnny Test, along with my partner, Mr. White. Thanks, Johnny. And let's go right down to the field for the 100-yard bash. Our new emergency broadcast channel is number 31. We're a hit. Yeah, but we're not number one. We need... A TV event, Bonanza, mega hit, blockbuster! Right. We need something that grabs the audience with grit, intrigue, and monster special effects. Don't you two have jobs? It's been slow lately. And when was the last time we had an emergency in this town? The base probably doesn't even know we're gone. This new self-piloting, uh, flying thing. Plane? It's a plane. Is amazing. You don't even need a pilot. It's controlled totally by this remote control station. We've lost control of the plane, sir. Oh, uh, what'll happen? It will go out of auto range somewhere over Pork Valley Crash and most likely explode in a highly populated area. Mm. Sir. We've got a runaway plane! Uh, quick, send a message over the emergency broadcast channel. Sir, there's nobody here and the camera equipment is gone, sir. Well, who took the equipment? This equipment makes shooting our TV movie a snap. Okay, people, this is where the tough but honest cop busts the aging rock star and the aliens arrive to take them to the mothership, but a missile wipes them out. But the cop pulls the rock star to safety because he's tough but honest. This Bonanza mega hit blockbuster is going to be great! <laughs> Hey, can't we shoot him down with some of those, uh, oh, what do they call those things, uh, measles? Missiles! Fire the missiles! Uh-huh. Yeah, it's gonna work! <laughs> no! 
Now the missiles are heading for Fort Valley, sir. And action! You're going downtown. Yip, 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 wop. Yip, 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 wop. We will destroy the Earth. Not on my watch. Hey. Okay, cue the missile. That's it? No, we need a real explosion, you know, with pows and crashes and kabooms. Um, remember? That took away all our rockets and rocket fuel. But nobody's going to watch this mega-hit blockbuster unless it has mega-blockbusting stuff in it. Well, it's all we got, Johnny, so take two! <laughs> Attention! There is a deadly plane and missiles coming to town! Hey, don't we have some kind of giant space cannon? Fire the space cannon! Um, sir, the space cannon won't destroy the plane and missiles in time, sir. Yeah, but we never get to use that thing, so fire it anyway! And action! Curse you, copper! We will destroy, destroy the Earth. Earth. Cue the missile! Whoa, didn't see that coming. Keep rolling. Didn't see that coming either. And cut! <laughs> Did you take our emergency broadcast equipment that is only supposed to be used for emergencies? No. no. Well, the good news is, Alien Space Blast made the EBC number one. And we did something creative and fun besides watch TV all day. But the bad news is, we're in super secret military lockup for using the emergency channel equipment. Now you are all staying in jail for a long time, and I will be calling your parents, and you will be grounded. Did anyone ever tell you you have a great face for TV? Really? It's time for cooking with the general. And then cook the meatloaf at 9,000 degrees for three seconds. Well, ABC is back at the bottom of the ratings, but at least the general didn't tell mom and dad. Yeah, but how do we wrap up this lame show? Don't worry, we'll end it with a big bang. Sword four. I'm going Samurai Laser Sword, and I will destroy you. And I'm going with... Night Sword, Shanghai Sword, Building Block Sword. The Building Block Sword? You can't win with that sword. <laughs> you can if you know how to use it, my young Padawan. And fight! <laughs> oh, winner! Now if I only knew how to use it. Hmm? It is I, Bling Bling Boy, here to impress the lovely Susan Test with one million roses. Get her for me! Hmm? She says she's busy and allergic to roses. And you? She's playing hard to get. But I can play that game, too. Winner! Tell Susan, I have a pony. Winner! Tell Susan, I want to see her now! She's washing her hair, but told us how to dismantle the missile. Deadly missile dismantled. I shall return to kiss my true love! <laughs> no. Test! I've reached the final level of Sacred Sword 4, and I might be the greatest player ever. 
I'm the greatest player ever. Then prove it. I challenge you to a video game showdown where I will kick your butt and destroy you and probably make you cry. Be here. One hour. And it is you who will lose. Great. See you then. Ah, young love. I do not love her. I hate her. <laughs> At your age, Johnny, it's the same thing. <laughs> My awesome new plan is perfect! After my total bio-neural transformation, there is no way Susan Test can resist spending time with me! Full power! <laughs> it worked! It worked! Okay? Everything's perfect to destroy Sissy. Not a practice. I'm not answering that. I heard two wonderful, responsible girls live here, and could they babysit my little toddler? Uh, Todd? No. How about for a ton of cash? I think it's time the girls get a job. And besides, they're already babysitting their brother Johnny while I go out. Great. Give him plenty of affection and feed him around noon and... Oh, he hates broccoli. No broccoli. Boy, he sure likes Susan. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> He's crying. What's with the crying? Well, I don't know what to do. I'm a genius, not a babysitter. According to the Moron's Guide to Babysitting, if the baby cries... He's hungry. Let's get him lunch. Hello, Jonathan. Uh, oopsie. Oh, no. I've got Sissy coming over to play Sacred Sword, and I want you and your crazy ways out of here. Well, I am not going home, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I'm 11, and I'm pretty sure I can take a two-year-old. to Bling Bling Island. I shall return! Whoa! Wow, he returns fast! But he's still going to lose. Not if I even the score. Goo goo! Whoa, didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Where have you? <laughs> swing, swing. Whee! Whee! We've got problems. Sissy will be here in 30 minutes. Bling bling ruin my buffet. And my hands are too small to beat Sissy. Ah, uh, you've got bigger problems. You're two, and Sissy's gonna rib you for still being in training pants. Not for long. Make me 11 years old again, now! Um, no! We might be the same age, but it's two against one. <laughs> and I am also a baby blue belt! Well, I'm still in training pants! Perhaps you will be less annoying as a three-month-old drooling brat! Uh-oh. Or perhaps I'll press these colorful buttons and save myself! Hey, I'm all done and ready to help you defeat... According to the book, it's a sign of a bad babysitter when you lose the baby. <laughs> okay, so that's not Todd, but Eugene trying to get next to me in toddler form, and Johnny must have tried to stop him. And now Eugene, a.k.a. Todd, a.k.a. Bling Bling Boy, is trying to waste Johnny. Well, no matter what, we've got to stop them. We're supposed to be babysitting them. And we already got paid. We got ourselves a drag race. Too much.
much coffee. Prepare for ultra babiness, Johnny Ted! He's gonna zap us into embryos! Oh, this might hurt. Now it's two against one again. Bobby! Choose your weapon. Now time. Enough. We'll probably do us good. We'll be rested and have more energy to destroy each other. Anything harder in this place to defeat you with? I shall tell you one more time. Turn me back to 11 years old. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Jonathan. And make me. Snack time! Use the fork, Johnny. I eat this. It's better for you. You call broccoli a snack? I call that bar food. <laughs> but a healthy snack provides the energy to get through the day and defeat dorky enemies. Okay, snack time over. Huh. Yeah, I do feel more powerful. <gasps> Fine, I'll turn you back. Just stop. Yeah. Said it for 11 years old. Sissy's coming over in five minutes. Then maybe she'll like to play with an 11 day old. Because I tricked you. Hello, Todd. Or should I say, Eugene? Oh, uh, this looks bad, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> I was just kidding around. I'm a good boy. What are you going to do to me? Why, we're going to babysit you, of course. And it's lunchtime. Nice spread test, but prepare to get whooped. We'll see about that. Night sword, Shanghai sword, building block sword. The building block sword? There's no way you can beat me with... <laughs> Winner! You won? But I was distracted. What's with all the noise? Here comes the airplane! No, no. Not broccoli! No! No!
you've got 12 hours! Which should be plenty of time for you to enjoy all the rides and for me to return 125 business calls. We know what we're going on first! The Super Mega Drop Mondo Coaster Extreme! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> hey, Test! The line doesn't start here. Oh! It starts here. Oh. Enjoy the wait, loser. <laughs> oh, don't worry. These lines move fast. Cancel all my appointments. <laughs> Multiply the distance times velocity divided by trajectory. Now let's claim our prizes! This is gonna be awesome and totally worth the wait. <laughs> That's it? That's all there is? Huh? Pork, Pork Belly, belly Party, party fun, fun Amusement Plan Park, Park is now closed. closed. Ah! I gotta go back! I didn't have enough amusement or park! You bet we'll go back! Next year! Okay, I get it. And I'm sorry, Johnny, but there's nothing we can do about it. So you might as well go downstairs and get me a steak. Or if we can't go to the amusement park, we'll bring the Park of Amusement to us. Ooh, I like that. But first, we have to get my sisters out of the lab. The grand opening to Gil's new science wing at the library, and we are VIP guests. I can read and troll at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Now to write a computer code that will cybernetically diagram out a homemade amusement park and assemble it with cheap non-union labor. To the construction drones! What can we build for you? <laughs> <laughs> Roller coaster, cool. Hi, Gil. We're so excited that you invited us to be your VIP guests of your new library wing. It's like super cool, and we're so. Sorry, don't know anything about a library. But tell Johnny I said hi. I think we've been Johnny. <laughs> Big time. Enjoy the bed coaster. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you break into our lab? Say another word, and I'll show Dad this file footage of the failed Inviso Boy experiment. <laughs> okay, enjoy the coaster. <laughs> Steady. We need absolute quiet. Don't worry, they'll get sick of the coaster eventually. I'm sick of the coaster. So, let's make more rides! This is really our fault. How many times are we gonna fall for Johnny's stupid Gil trick? A uh, special huh? invitation here for Gil's super huh? private pool party. Pool party! <laughs> <laughs> no pool party. Tell Johnny I said hi, though. Letters! Oh, no. Welcome to Johnny Land! Awesome! There's no way we'll get any... 
any work done with Johnny Land all over the place. Don't worry, we'll just get our drones to tear it down. Hmm, cotton candy, tasty. Drones? Tear down this park! No, too much fun. Hey, we're wet just like you. But we're smiling. <laughs> when Mom and Dad get back from the store, you'll be in big trouble. So, I suggest you get the drones to shut down Johnny Land. You're right. Mom and Dad will get mad that your construction drones, which you created, turn their house into an amusement park. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse me, Dookie and I have to go to the cushy house of bounce, and nothing will get me to close Johnny Land! Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, you have a plan. I don't know what it is, but I like that look in your eye. If these drones won't tear down Johnny Land, then our new destruction drones will. Ooh. What can we destroy for you? There's an amusement park outside that must be torn down, so tear it down! Why aren't they destroying anything? Woo! I love Johnny Land. Yippee! What a ride. You said it. Did you girls build all of this? Well, um... And you did it all for your brother because he couldn't go back to the park. Oh, you're so nice to him. That's right! We built it! Then tear it down before someone gets hurt! I want it done in one hour or you'll lose the lab for one week! Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some groceries to put away. Okay, if the drones won't tear down Johnny Land, maybe they'll build the ultimate ride that'll scare Johnny away from amusement parks forever! It looks terrifying. We'll build it, but where the yard is full of rides. There's nothing like being at the greatest amusement park in the world that's in my backyard. But I think we need a new cool ride. <laughs> There's a new one in the garage. <laughs> Prepare for launching. That sounds bad. on Johnny's face when he returns. <laughs> huh? What are you doing here? Winning the ride. If you're not on the ride, who is? <laughs> oh no! The safety line snapped! Now what will happen? They'll come crashing down like a meteorite and Pork Belly will implode! Freak out time! <laughs> for cars and drive to Canada and open a candle shop. I have a better idea. We get the drones to give Mom and Dad the greatest ride ever. Then we'll all get grounded for life. <sighs> Thank goodness this ride is over. <laughs> Okay, put that over there. No, you over there. No, up, up, down. No, no, not you, down. Okay, you put that over there. Okay, put that over there. Okay, somebody get me a tuna sandwich. Oh, yes, you over there. Up, up. No, 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 up. Higher, higher, higher. So how are your parents doing? <laughs> By my calculations, Mom and Dad are going to be landing in 10 seconds. Exactly. And I'm just putting the finishing touches on Johnny Land's newest, most extremist ride. Four, three, two, one. Excellent use of the bounce house. Okay, drone heads, let's break this down before they wake up to give us the grounding of a lifetime. We are too sad to destroy. Hey, what's wrong? We didn't get to try the life-saving extreme coaster. Must eat 
vegetables. No playing with your food at the table. No candy bar. They're bad for you. Have a meatloaf bar instead. No climbing in the alligator pit. I can't wait to go to the hockey game. Johnny, we can't go to the hockey game. No, 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 no. Dad's always yelling at me and saying no. Well, you could always replace him with a new, more fun dad. <laughs> I mean, your sisters are geniuses. Nah, don't be crazy. I can't replace my dad. I just need to do a little Johnny Test sweet talking. Then he'll be saying, yes, yes, yes. No, no, no! To the lab! No! You sound just like Dad. Johnny, we're not gonna make you a new dad just so you can get everything you want and always have your own way. We like Dad. Without him, we wouldn't have this lab or the monkeys. Oh, please. Hasn't Dad ever said no to you and really made you angry? Hmm. Please? You want me to buy plutonium? No, no, no! Okay, we're in. Hmm? But how will we keep Dad occupied while we engineer a perfect paternal facsimile? Say what? Just get rid of Dad for a while. Where is that shoe? Johnny, no! Stop standing still and grinning ear to ear. How could what I'm doing possibly be considered a bad thing? Force of habit. Have you seen my shoe? I won't be able to focus on anything until I find it. Gee, sorry, Dad. Haven't seen it. Ooh, maybe I left it outside. <laughs> okay, Dad will be looking for this shoe forever. So let's build a totally cool says yes to everything Dad. Start with a lock of the real Dad's hair. So we have a genetic base. A little speed McCool for spice and toughness. I bought these old towels on the internet. They're full of DNA from extreme sports dudes. So our new dad will love sports and be extreme. Ooh, my turn. Wait. He's a thick. Get him! And for funniness, I add a clown nose and feet into the Datatron. Okay, here we go. Please look like Dad, but be cool like, like a celebrity. Please let me do what I want. Please let him give me steak. Did it work? Johnny, go play on the roof, and that's an order. Say what? Oh, and Dookie, here's a steak. <laughs> and where can a dad get some plutonium around here for his girls? It works! <laughs> My boy having fun on the roof. Huh? Candy for dinner! Ooh. Where is that shoe? There's that plutonium for my girls! Put it on my wife's business card. You look great, hon! Where is that shoe? Yeah! All right! Get him! Get him! Hockey rules! And so does my new dad! From no seats to the hockey game yeah. and more candy for my wonderful son! <laughs> Has anyone seen a size 10 brown loafer with... Ah! Didn't see that coming. <sighs> Life is good. Uh. Uh. Okay, now I'm sick. Then do what I do. Lie around for a few hours and scratch yourself. <laughs> Hello, perfect son who can do no wrong. Is everything all right? Oh, I think I ate too much junk food. <laughs> Terrific! Eat more! Whoa. Candy is good for you! Let's do some roof you to cycling. I thought of a way to spice it up. But it's almost six. 
shouldn't we stay in for dinner? Who cares? Not me! This is what's known as a bad sign. To the roof! <laughs> A bad thing. But this is fun, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank goodness the thorn bushes were here to break our fall. <laughs> Time for more fun! <laughs> I think I added a little too much clown. Run! Where is that shoe? Susan, Mary, New Extreme Dad might be crazy and insane. Ah! Huh? And what happened in here? Turns out the plutonium New Dad bought us was unstable. What kind of dad buys their kids plutonium anyway? Call me crazy, but I miss all says no to everything, Dad. He did keep us out of trouble by saying no so much. And no matter what goes wrong, New Dad only says... Terrific! Something's definitely gone wrong. Exposure to the plutonium may have damaged New Dad's DNA. Terrific! Or, like Johnny said, he could be crazy and insane! Why aren't you out having fun? Let's go have more fun! No! no. Yeah! <laughs> the zoo is fun! Let's have fun at the zoo! I hate the zoo! Look! I I'm arguing with you! You hate when I argue with you. Send me to my room. No, better yet, ground me. Ground me now. I demand it. Terrific. To the zoo it is. Hey, you don't think all his extremeness will affect his driving, do you? is terrific! Let's get a closer look! Can anyone save us? Maybe I left my shoe by the panda pavilion. Dad, help! Huh? Kids? Dookie? <laughs> Freaky experiment you are, and I'm sure Johnny had something to do with this. But back off, bucko! Those are my kids! I can't fight evil with only one shoe! Dad, huh? here! Got it! You brought that with you? Weird, huh? Find your own family! I take it! Than the pandas. Oh, yes. <laughs> Eat my shoe, alligator! Now feed it! Yeah. I'm gonna miss those shoes, but they do satisfy the hungry gator! Thanks, Thanks dad. dad! Sorry we made a new dad, Dad. I guess I was upset that you say no all the time. But that's part of my job! To protect you and make sure you eat good food so you don't get sick. And we can't go to hockey games all the time because they're expensive. And clothes and food are more important. Okay, that last one's debatable, but... We love you. Uh, but... Uh, maybe I do say no too much. So, how about I take all of us to a hockey game and get some plutonium? <laughs> On me? No! Okay. Now I'm really confused. We'd, We'd rather spend tonight at home. As a family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, your hugs are really hurting me now. After a long day at work, it sure is nice to see my family together for dinner with all their hair. You said it, Mom. Dig in, everyone. We've got a great big family <laughs> night ahead of us. There's five more meatloaves where this came from. <laughs> I'm beginning to think you people don't like my meatloaf.
Got a head of fiery hair and a turbocharged backpack. The genius sisters use them like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! Cook, cook, Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! You told me to wake you up early, remember? Saturday. <laughs> the greatest day of the week. And we are going to have the perfect Saturday. Ooh, does that mean you'll scratch the part of my butt I can't reach? That and more, my friends. Behold, the perfect Saturday schedule. We begin with TV and food that's bad for us, followed by a video game marathon. And then we'll top it all off by watching the ultimate wrestlers versus Battle Robots Mega Fight 5. Catch me. I'm going to faint. No, you didn't catch me. I've been saving this corn dog since the third grade for this special occasion. To Saturday! Oh, Saturday, I do love you so. That's a sign of happiness in many cultures. Who cares? Because today, there's no school, no homework, and no worries. It's just you and me, buddy, all day. Hey, Test! Uh -huh. You know Missy, my rare pink labradoodle who is much better than your dumb, smelly mutt. Excuse me while I go hate. <laughs> Don't you have anyone else to bug? I'm enjoying my Saturday, and you annoying me is not on the schedule. I need someone to play William Tell with. I'm William, and I'm telling you, you're the apple. <laughs> Whoa! TV, video games, food that's bad for us? Put me on your schedule, cause I'm staying. Hmm, how can I put this without hurting your feelings? No way! <laughs> I'm a girl, and I'm crying. Johnny, give Sissy what she wants. When you're older, you'll learn girls always get what they want when they cry. Oh, and if you want her to stop crying, flowers and or a necklace usually does the trick. You need to know these things, Johnny. It's the law. Fake crying makes me hungry. To Saturday! <laughs> bad dog! Bad girl! You're ruining my perfect Saturday! I'm just hanging out. No big. You're watching the All About Girls Network. Don't worry. Violent girlish videos in your room and not here will save our Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, alien zombie carjacker. Uh, don't forget about me. Five scratches, please. <laughs> oh, no. The evil undead rabbit aardvark. I know an ultimate cheat move to win the game. Control X, X, Y, A, X, B, X, analog stick up, down, fight, fight, fight! <laughs> no! Uh -oh. Plan B, hide in the garage? So we can watch the ultimate wrestlers versus battle robot mega fight five! Humans fighting robots and no girls makes everything better. We now bring you the Nutcracker. Men in tights! My eyes! <laughs> it's public TV. It's supposed to be good for you. Ah! I'm learning! Ooh! Men in tights! <laughs> it's a seven-hour marathon! <laughs> and that concludes public TV's Men in tights marathon. 
Goodbye, tights. Yeah. Hello, fights. Sorry, sport. It's bedtime. Saturday's over? Yeah, that's right. No! Thanks, but Sissy and Missy ruined our perfect Saturday, and we'll never get it back. Never! Do not panic. That explosion was non-nuclear. Repeat, non-nuclear. Wait, I have genius sisters. Maybe we can get it back. A Saturday repeater machine? Pfft, child's play. Literally. We built one in kindergarten. You can borrow it if you do us a few small, tiny scientific favors. Don't do it! It's not worth it! We'll get another Saturday, and it's just seven days away, which is like two months in dog years, and... Okay, yeah, he'll do it. <laughs> Results? <laughs> not good. Okay, next. Thank you. Thank you very much. Side effects include being rubbery. All right, now the boys had enough. Fork over the Saturday repeater machine, or I'll bite. Hmm. I mean, I'll poop. Whenever you push the snooze button, you'll wake up on the previous Saturday morning. <laughs> It's Saturday, son! You told me to wake you up early, remember? Yes! It's Saturday again! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Wait! This is right where Sissy came in! Hide! Hey, Test! I wanna play William! Oh. What? It's still a sign of happiness. <laughs> You're watching the All About Girls. <laughs> it's Saturday, son. This time we stop Sissy before she gets inside. That's good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here they come! To the fortress! Huh. Missy, attack! <laughs> wow. That is one tough pink dog. Okay, what crazy plan is it this time? Dookie, there's an old saying, if you can't beat him, join him. And there's another old saying, are you nuts? Sissy loves the fight. So we take away the fight and they go away. Ooh, lying that we actually enjoy their company. Hi, Sissy. Hi, Missy. It's so good to see you. Let us play. Oh, okay. Don't you want to yell at me or something? Oh, don't be silly. Corn dog, I've been saving it since the third grade. For you. Since third grade? No, I couldn't. You have it. Uh, really? Okay. Want to play Grand Theft Zombies? You can show me your ultimate move that'll destroy my game controller. You're cooler than I thought, Test. Just for that, I'll give you my list of cheat codes. No way. You're cooler than I thought. You can't talk, I know. But yet your eyes speak to my very soul. Come, let us frolic. I don't believe it. You just encased that zombie in cement. Control X, up, down, Y, Y, down, up. Gives you all the power up. Try it. Die, evil zombie dudes! <laughs> so Swan Lake is about an evil sorcerer that turns dudes into swans? Men in tights are awesome! I'm glad you stuck around today. I think I had the perfect Saturday. Yeah, me too. That's, That's a, a sign, sign of, of happiness, happiness in some cultures. cultures. Bedtime sport. And you should probably go home, sissy. <sighs> I'm serious. 
It's bedtime, and Sissy should go. Now! Well, Johnny, it looks like you had the perfect Saturday with Sissy. Yep, and I think I might have another one real soon. That's love, son. And now that you and Sissy are getting along, you'll soon be spending every day with her. Say what? Like I did when I met your mom. Hmm? No more spending your Saturdays goofing off with your dog. Huh? Instead, you'll be spending them with the girl of your dreams, cuddling, cooing, and carrying heavy things for her like a human pack mule. Huh? Then, before you know it, you'll be married and have three kids, and you'll be making the dinner while she's taking clients to ball games. And when was the last time she thanked me for my meatloaf? Okay, I'm glad we had this talk. Gotta go. Time to rub your mother's feet. <laughs> Bye, sport. it this time. It's better this way. I'll start crying! Target identified. Parents with fabulous frozen treats approaching. Mega Mint Chip Target locked. Move! Clean! Empty again? That's the third time this week we've bought ice cream and the container's been empty. You should just go back to the store, complain, and buy some more. <laughs> That's a great idea, Johnny. If I was a fool, no. I'm gonna write to the Icy Ice Cream Company and complain. And no more Mega Mint Chip in this house until we get an apology. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? I need Mint Chip Ice Cream. It's what makes my coat so shiny! Don't worry, I've got a plan. <laughs> An ice cream maker? Johnny, nobody actually uses those things. They just re-gift them. Well, we are gonna make endless gallons of Mega Mint Chip. Ice. Ice. Pint of cream. Pint of cream. Mint. Mint toothpaste for fresh minty flavor. Mm. Chips. Bag of potato chips. It also says to use rock salt. Rocks and salt. Now we turn it on and in just three hours we'll have delicious mint chippy ice cream. Maybe we should do something to make the time go by faster. Here, try this one. Yeah. You try this one. Mine's longer. No, mine is. Super tasty homemade Mega Mint Chip is done! To the ice cream! <laughs> soap! I need soap! <sighs> no wonder people don't use these things. They're evil! And we're still out of ice cream! Well, if Dad won't buy more, we'll just have to buy it ourselves. To the First National Bank of my sisters! Who wants to give me money? Go away, Johnny. But, but, but we need mint chip ice cream. Then you're in luck. For Home Ec, we're developing a healthy ice cream substitute full of vitamins so kids get nutrition from tasty frozen treats. Blah, blah, blah. How does that help me get mint chip? If you test it and like it, we'll make you some super tasty and healthy mint chip ice cream. Let, Let the, the test, test begin! begin! I need more soap! So, what do you think? 
I think you used too much barf. To get an A, we need this ice barf to taste good. We need mint chip ice cream, and I have a plan. Let's hear it. We could go for a good laugh. Susan and Mary, that's you, will disguise themselves as mom and take Johnny, that's me, and his friend with a rare hair disorder on the Icy Ice Cream Factory tour where you two can break into the lab, steal the tasty secrets, and Dookie and I can get tons of free mint chip samples. <laughs> Wait, Wait, that's, that's not, not bad. bad. Let's begin our tour of our amazing factory, or as I like to call it, Ice Cream Wonderland. Okay then, what you're all standing on now is called the floor. Yeah, when do we get the free samples? At the end of the tour, which only lasts three hours. Say what? <clears throat> Where's the lab where you create the recipes for your delicious and not barfy ice cream? Right here, where our scientists are creating chemicals like riboflavin and trachophila filaments that give our ice cream its color and artificial flavor. Hey, what's that over there? Ooh, that's called a wall. <laughs> Next up is where we make our famous mega mint chip. <gasps> And banana mana monkey junk. Is it made with real monkeys? No, of course not. It's just a catchy name that our focus groups came up with to appeal to the ice cream consumer. <laughs> now let's move along. It appears to be a tasting lab, and the monkeys are the tasters. With this secret recipe book, we can make our healthy ice cream and see if it's good enough to get an A by the taste testing professionals. Let's get to work. Look at all that mint chip. Don't even think about it, Johnny. Breaking into that part of the factory floor looks dangerous. The pink and brown swirl that is a flavor we're experimenting on called steak with gravy. <sighs> um, do you even know where we're going? Yes. No. Yes! Now all we have to do is lower ourselves below, and it's ice cream heaven! Are you sure you don't use real monkeys in the monkey chunk? Yes! It's just a clever reference to the banana ice cream, and I promise, no monkeys are harmed here at the factory! Okay, let's see if they like our new recipe. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Johnny, you gotta try this. Ice cream switch! Woo cool, an ice cream quay. Um, Johnny, do something! Okay, any non-monkey questions before we proceed? Yes. Uh, what would happen if someone broke into the processing plant and fell into a giant vat of ice cream? Well, they would go through the delightful process of being swirled into ice cream, chopped into three gallon rolls, then sealed and packed into our super cold freezer where life is unsustainable after our patented three minute final freezing process. How much longer till the free samples? Another half hour. Choppers! Big choppers! Johnny! Don't worry, I got you! Oh. Hmm, could have used a little more off the top. Tasty, but... This is the worst tour ever! Don't worry, Dookie! I'll find you! I hope. Final freezing process complete in three minutes. Uh, I don't think they like this recipe either. Dookie's now a Mega Mint chip, and if I don't get him out in three minutes, he'll freeze forever! We have our own emergency. If these monkeys don't eat something tasty soon, they're gonna eat us! Really? Hey, are you guys tired of testing barf and want to taste the best ice cream in the world? Follow me! 
For the last time, we do not use real monkeys in our monkey chunk. Okay, monkeys, let's get in that ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. We really do use real monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Final freezing time in two minutes. Start eating! Not in this one. Not in this one either. Keep eating. He's here somewhere. If we eat too fast, we're gonna get an ice cream headache. It's the last tub. He's gotta be in here. <laughs> Freezing complete. Dookie! We must have ate him! <laughs> no! There you guys huh? are! I got out right before I got sealed and packed. <gasps> and I got free ice cream samples for everyone! <laughs> huh, I thought they loved mint chip. 